Hey guys, so I watched Total Drama Reunion and honestly, it was pretty good. For those who don't know, So I Watched is a series that I'm doing on my channel where if I don't have a good reaction or if I just don't really like the video that much, then I actually will just discuss my thoughts on the video. Now, the main reason why I'm doing Total Drama Reunion is not because I actually had a bad reaction. I'd say I had a good reaction. It's because I actually didn't film it. I, I didn't really want to like make a reaction video to this. I just wanted to review it because it seemed very interesting and that's, I just wanted to get my opinion out of it. I, I, the main reason why I don't want to do a reaction is because I'm worried that I'll get claimed for it or maybe even get a takedown notice or even a probably worse strike. So that's why I didn't want to, that's why I didn't want to do that because they clearly own the series. So I didn't want to really like take from them. So for those who don't know, I'm actually a long time total drama fan and honestly, yeah, it was a pretty good show until Pankatu Island, but yeah, honestly, I, I enjoyed it. It was a good show, and it's glad to see the fans sort of bring it back in like a new, unique way. I'd say for the plot, it actually was really good. It sets up a lot of dramatic tension that will happen later on in the series, and honestly, it is really well made. The video also had very nice pacing and editing. The pacing was really good. I was entertained the whole way through. It had this nice flow to it where it didn't feel like there were moments where it sped up and it didn't feel like moments where it was slowing down or it was boring. It was very consistent. The editing was also very good. You know, I didn't find anything weird, like any weird cuts or any weird... Well, actually, there was a couple weird sound effects, but that that's fine. I mean, they obviously had to take liberties because, you know, they obviously have half the budget of the original show, definitely less than half. But, yeah, I mean, that's why there was some weird sounds. And also, I wanted to get to the voice acting a little bit later, but I guess I'll just do it here. The voice acting is okay. It, it makes sense, but it is definitely not as good. There are bits where it's literally like my audio, like where it's like, hello, guys, like, you know, where it's like... <laughs> really loud and just you know like echoey you can like it's like it sounds like I'm in a room you know as I was saying with them having you know less of a budget than the show I I want to go to the animation because personally the animation is very good for what it is personally I think it captures the original style of the show especially when you pause a frame the character designs look like their original characters and it is really good. I'd say the one thing that throws me off is definitely the movement, especially when they move their mouths. It really, it looks super weird and janky, but it's very understandable. I'd also say though that with the animation, there were some bits that actually did make me laugh unintentionally. And it's just, I do want to actually discuss them. There's one moment where Trent is just, looks like he's shanking Gwen and it's honestly hilarious. There's also these two scenes that are very similar where you have, Courtney's character model be completely still either in the air or underwater But I mean with the air it looks more normal and then underwater just looks like they just put a character model on a Background to simulate being underwater and that's it But I mean hey, it's excusable because like these guys definitely didn't have that big of a budget and speaking of character models Honestly the grown-up character models actually look good. They actually look good honestly except for like the background characters, you know, they look all right like the judge and then like the the attorney or whatever they just look super you know weird because they made them themselves they had to make them from scratch where you know the older character models look good i mean i'd say cody's character model looks different and that's like i'd say that actually looks pretty good but i feel like they also had something to go off there but still it looks good and hey also speaking of character I'd say the characters acted like their original selves. They acted really well, really nicely. The only character that fell odd to me was Chris, and that's mainly because in the original series, he didn't come off as like so obviously evil. Like, of course he was evil, but he didn't want to make it obvious. Like, he wanted to make it, you know, not as obvious. Like, oh, he was just like messing with people rather than like, oh, he's doing this because he's evil. Like, that's what it kind of seems like in this. And I personally just don't really find that as enjoyable as his original self. I think the setting is actually really good. I think, you know, going back to the original island, but with more creative, like, evolved animals is actually really cool. Now, you could say that they did this for Total Drama Revenge of the Island, which is season four, and they did do that. But I think the creatures in this are a lot thought out and are a lot better than the ones in 
Revenge of the Island. And also I think it's just better to have them be like mutated, but like not make the setting look like all like a mutated waste dump like they kind of did with, you know, Revenge of the Island. Cause honestly, I like the idea of, you know, woolly beavers and just like pterodactyl geese. Like honestly, those are cool ideas. And not honestly, it's also cool cause you know which animal they are, but you can tell they've also evolved into like these newer creatures. As I was saying with the beast, I'd say the one beast that definitely didn't look really that great is the alligator, cause there, or a crocodile, I can't, I can't tell the two. But yeah, you could tell there was like barely any texture with the coloring and it's just like two colors, uh, you know, put together on like an object. So yeah, there's that, but that's also unexcusable I'd say. But yeah, I feel like the setting was really thought out with this one where like, the locations all connect like you know perfectly and i think that's because they really put time and effort into thinking about the series so yeah that's really good and i like that they thought of the setting and how the setting like affects the characters as well because it does it actually it actually does and i can't wait to see how it affects them on later, honestly, though. Now, there was one moment that actually did kind of shock me, and it was actually seeing Ezekiel, honestly. I mean, it's it doesn't show him, like, you know, he's covered up by the the robot head, but it's, it's obviously Ezekiel. They're gonna do a twist later where they reveal it's Ezekiel, that that is Ezekiel. So I honestly can't wait to see that. It, I'm honestly interested in that, even though I know it's, it's coming. I actually wanna see what happens, because yeah, it's cool. Like, it makes sense because Ezekiel was definitely left on the island and yeah, you know, he's definitely crazy. So it, 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 nice touch, nice touch. I'd say for the sound effects and the background music, they were okay. I, not really like recognizable or not really like anything nuanced or anything. It's just normal background music and sound effects. So it's, it's fine. It's quality too. So it's, it's all right. I feel like I could have put it that with the editing, but I just didn't get to that in the editing. So I guess we're here now. Now, what are my overall thoughts on the first episode of Total Drama Reunion? Well, it's actually really, really good. Honestly, it's really well made for what it is. And I advise to go watch it. The original link will be in the description. Also subscribe to the creators, Blue Productions. That link will also be in the description as well. So if I had to rank this video, I would definitely give it a seven out of 10. It is a good video, solid quality video. Honestly, it is enjoyable. There are a few flaws here and there, but it's obvious that you know, that's not really the point of this series. They're not trying to go for something flashy. They're trying to go for something, you know, unique. They're trying to add to a series that they personally enjoy, and that's what they're trying to do with this. So those are just my thoughts on Total Drama Reunion. What are your guys' thoughts? Leave that down in the comments down below. And if you have not seen the original video, I would advise you to watch the original link that is in the description. But, uh, yeah, honestly, that's all I have to say. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like, maybe subscribe to my channel, and uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!